range, and I'm sick. So my accent will be um, not at the maximum, but I will do my best. So I'm born in Brittany, in the northwest part of, uh, of France. Uh, then I've, um, I've been to Paris for my study. So I've first, uh, my first diploma is a graphic design diploma. Then I've been into a master in creation and, uh, and new media. And finally, I've done research in mobile digital identities in Paris. Um, then I started my career there. Uh, three years ago, I moved to uh, Singapore to start working um, in a startup. And uh, three years later, so I'm married now, uh, and I'm working at Egon. Egon is a, a Dutch company. So as you can see, actually, in a, on my career summary, I've, I've moved quite often. Uh, so I've been freelancing um, for a, a, a while, but I've spent most of my time, actually, in the startup and agencies, where I really learn um, how to work fast, to be efficient, and also to, um, to gather everybody, uh, all the stakeholders around the, the, the vision. Uh, so now I'm in the insurance company that it's a regional uh, role. Um, so I'm working in Singapore. Um, and I choose actually this, uh, this company, this challenge, because the tagline, the company goal is about helping people achieve a lifetime financial security. Something I've been seduced by. Uh, and um, I have two, uh, two target market today. I'm spending 50% of my time in Mumbai, where the company is selling a life insurance product and investment um, a product as well. Um, and also, in, um, the other 50% of my time are in, uh, in Indonesia, where we have an e-broker. And I'm also helping uh, improving the user-centric design approach, putting in place design process. Um, so working, I'm working very closely with the, the, the stakeholders, the C, uh, the C level, but also very involved with the team, the core team, um, to make things happen. And of course, also the developers. Um, so Egon Life India, it's a, it's a joint venture. So with Egon, this Dutch company, and Bennett Coleman Company, this um, Indian leading media conglomerate, uh, Time of India. So the, the company is in Mumbai since quite a while now. It's eight years. Um, this, co this company so, um, produced a new website early this year. So that's been live in January. I joined Egon in February. So they are doing well. They are, they, are, they are doing some interesting marketing campaign that have been successful and highlighted by Facebook as a, a very efficient campaign to increase the brand awareness. Um, so that's good. They are doing good practices. However, um, it's an insurance company. So my first impression was very, uh, I've been impressed. It's, uh, there are a lot of people. It's very hierarchical. Uh, it's a financial industry. So arriving here and, um, hey, hi, I'm, I'm UX designer. Uh, I will help you um, uh, designing the website uh, and also um, according to the business goals translated into the design solution that is tailored for our users. Uh, that has been, it's challenging. Uh, I won't hide you the, the truth. It's challenging. Um, so what I've done, I started to look at the website and to really pinpoint all the what was wrong in the, first, in the first view. So we can see that it was no visual hierarchy and the call to action, uh, some usability issue, basic on the website, uh, need to reorganize the menu information architecture. So we arrived there actually because all the decision has been taken by the boss and the boss is going straight to the developers and asking people, um, I want this on my website. But it's, it's not really a user-centric design approach, not at all actually. So the, the first thing um, I starting to do um, with the team is to get rid of the functional uh, stage of the website and really to improve it to reach the meaningful um, section. So to focus on experience and to have a person, personal significance. So even today, we're still not really there. It's a long process. Uh, needs a lot of help. Uh, needs to show, um, show design, show process, but we can do it. So it's challenging, but it's a good challenge. So I'm used to work with the, the double diamond process. So double diamond, the process model created by the Design Council in 2005, is divided into two key um, phases, actually, if you look at four, but two main. The first one, so general uh, problem statement. Then we start with the research, so discover when we open, user-centric empathetic approach. Then we narrow down this first um, um, research stays into defining insight. So earlier we're talking about personal building in a workshop. This is the right time to do it. 
Then we are opening again into the second phase to develop, develop design solution, uh, ideation, and then deliver, deliver to the design uh, developer, sorry. Um, so this is what I starting uh, by sharing uh, with the team. I, I find the best way to implement this design process in the team by putting in place a design sprint. So the, because, um, as I told you earlier, it was no UX designer there. So what I had to, to do is really to show to all the decision, um, um, the stakeholder, the key stakeholder, to show them design, to sh design based on data. Um, so this design sprint, actually, it's really one week. So we understand, we define, we diverge and decide, prototype and validate. So I will share with you the tools I'm using as well, because it's really about processes, processes and tools. Um, so this, this is the way I'm, I'm bringing in the company um, the design sprint. So the first step is the strategy, analytics, benchmarking, uh, the scope, then user research, so persona, user goal, needs, user feedback. We're in an, an insurance company, so we have a lot of um, call from customers who are complaining or asking for help. So we have access to um, users. We're doing user um, testing as well. Um, in a one-to-one -one interview with eye tracking. We have a lot of channels to get user feedback. Then step three is about aligning the stakeholders on a vision. And here is um, a very challenging step. So product goals, sketching, prototyping, technical review and vote. Actually, this is what um, I'm doing during the day with the stakeholders, or aligning everybody around the table about what is your vision about your product. For example, a new homepage is a good example. How does each of the stakeholders sketch his own homepage? And, and after we discuss, because we have stakeholders from the marketing, we have stakeholders from insurance product um, manager, we have also IT, we have a lot of different stakeholders that we need to align. So this is a good, a good way I found to, to make it happen in the company. Then prototyping step. So here is really about designing. So designing and showing to these same stakeholders on the phone and on on the desktop through the, the tools. OK, this is the translation about what we just agreed on. Um, according to the budget and the time to go to the developers, we have also the um, evaluation. So testing with users. We can test on InVision on the mobile um, with five users. It's good enough. So there, there is the evaluation day. User validation, stakeholders review, very important, and technical feasibility. So once again, we have here a technical feasibility to be sure that this prototype is good to go to the next sprint, developer sprint. Then we have the delivery. So here is a delivery plan handover. So I will go through the tools. This is really the phase where um, I'm involved hand, hand, um, the hands on the design and development to bring, to run people, the developers through the prototype. So here, okay, this is what I found the most efficient for, for me, is using, showing the customer journey and the prototype through uh, InVision. So I'm designing on Sketch. I'm, I'm importing my sketch file directly on InVision. InVision allow me to show the prototype to users, show the prototype to the stakeholders as well. The user, so the user interface um, is done with a, by a creative team. However, um, what, what I, uh, I want to be sure is the user interface is based on the framework, so bootstrap uh, in the situation, because we are working with the um, atomic design um, component library, so actually all the grid is already defined. It's working very well on the delivery. It, it has been a challenge at the beginning, but now it's working well. So the, this, there's no mistake. What you see is what you get. When the stakeholders have the, the phone in the hand, they are sure that this will be implemented uh, two weeks later. So the user test. User test, so according to the budget once again, um, I'm doing uh, testing with eye tracking. It's, it's costly, I won't hide you that it's, it's a price, but however, it's, it's very, um, very useful to identify the unconscious decision and also uh, during the interview to get more knowledge and deep, very granular uh, insight coming from the customers. Specification, so actually, the process of delivery uh, is very fast because the front end is based on the framework and I'm using Zeppelin. Zeppelin is a tool that allows me to export my design on a, an interface, a web interface, a web app, sorry, that is shared with the developers. So actually the CSS is already organized, the grid system is fixed, so there is no mistake. It's just um, a, a matter about uh, handing over the design to the developers, but we were all talking about the same thing. Um, and then documentation, so as well, um, 
to be sure that the scenario is as well translated to the team um, using Jira and Confluence to document the, the design. Um, so no hypo, but data-driven decision. This makes me laugh because when I, start, uh, I started in February, it was super hypo. It was very the highest paid person opinion win. That's why we, we had this homepage. That's why we had this, uh, some of these pages. So the, what has been very um, important is to involve the team also into this data uh, decision-making process. So data through user testing. Oh. Sorry. Nielsen said, to design an easy-to-use interface, pay attention to what users do, not what they say. Uh, Self-reported claims are unreliable, as are user speculation about future behavior. So here, one-to-one uh, -one interview is very useful for that, eye tracking as well. It takes time as well to do the report, uh, that's true. However, it's very important for the quality of the product. So feedback from the eye tracking, feedback from the sales team, people who are on the phone all day long dealing with problems that happen. Uh, it's one of the channels in, in this company that is very useful, but also analytics. So Google Analytics to observe the drop-off, the bounce rate, the conversion rate as well uh, on the funnels, and um, some tools for the A-B testing. This is what, we, what we, has been put in place this year. This is what very useful to uh, bring the quality of design um, at the highest level. So persona. So this morning, the workshop was about persona building. And it's hard to do personas, right? Um, this is the template that uh, I, I use in the company to embrace people um, so people, stakeholders around um, vision, the vision that we have on our target users. It's not easy. All the stakeholders are sharing different vision and the key, who are our key users for who are we building a product for. And this has been a very useful tool to um, converge all the vision and to, um, as much as possible, uh, reuse them in, a, in a, all the design um, process. So what is very important is a team effort. Being, being a, U, uh, a UX designer at the regional level, we, I need help from the team. So this, it's very, very important to work closely with the business, marketing and IT, of course. Show by doing, no theory, theoretical speech. So I observe <laughs> during the presentation of oh, what is UX design, how we can do it, that there are two speed. There's the speed or all the stakeholders are around the table listening to you. Oh, this is okay, double diamond, user experience design, so it's not UI, okay, uh, interaction. But there is also the next step, is how to do it, to show it, and to go to the developers and make it done. And this is very important, is to show by doing. Uh, make the decision, uh, make the design and process visible. Uh, what I observe is also to put a simple Kanban board in the IT area and to put a different, put a different, um, Feature in process here, make visible, but everybody is very important uh, in terms of communication. Test and refine again, again, and again. It's something that everybody knows it, but doing it in a daily basis is, is quite challenging. It's uh, the reality. Um, and so now the, the company is taking a, a, new, a new turn. Um, they have decided to migrate toward digital and direct. So they're getting rid of the, ag the agent. All the transactions will be done online. So that's now new. <laughs> New challenge for the, uh, the design as well, um, to sell all the financial product online. So now it's a new challenge. Let's go. So for this, um, so I went through the, um, the analytics group. So we have an analytics team in the, in the company. And I, used it, I, I asked their help actually to show me the data about bounce rate, um, drop off on the, on the sales funnel, and also to start putting in place on the website um, what is the most click call to action on this page? And I gather all this data to show to the stakeholders that we have some issue. Um, so the thing is how to understand the issue. So for example, we have on one page a high drop-off. How do we translate this high drop-off into a design solution? Uh, so for this, I had added testing. Uh, testing as well um, So five, with five person during the same, uh, the same flow to put in parallel what I can observe from the data online and what I can observe with the data coming from the, the, the interview. And then I've been able to show to the stakeholders through the recordings of the video that, OK, we have a high drop-off here, and then we have this feedback. So we should change the way we're doing um, the content on this page or uh, the, pro the, the text field or the copywriting. There are kind of few outcomes from coming from these um, observations. And still today, actually, um, on the design sprint, there is a day 
uh, dedicated to the, the prototyping with the stakeholders, it has, been, it has been pretty good to put everybody at the same level and to start um, sharing our assumption, our vision about one page or another. So for example, a, a stakeholder from the marketing would have, can have seen a, a good practice uh, on a website, and so he wants this to be done on, on our website. So this day um, was dedicated to the prototyping among the stakeholders, make it visible. And so people start communicating together, and then we, we get rid of one feature or another just by talking. Uh, I see the insurance industry is pretty much saturated right now in India with a lot of competition and you know customers are not very excited uh, to insure. So uh, I, when I work with customers, uh, you know, clients, they, they always are very excited to incorporate new features, uh, right from ranging from you know, building social uh, plugins into their insurance portals to a lot of other things. So what are those few strategies that you think could work in engaging customers? So, insurance is a complex, complex industry in a way that there are, um, so I can, I can talk about the problem we, we faced currently on the website. Um, to try to answer you, at the, I can't, can't share the strategy, but I can tell you about the problem we have today. It's a, the problem, the, the website today is selling insurance product. Uh, the thing is how, how people, customers can understand that this product is tailored for their needs or not. It's very cold in a, in a way. So what, what we are uh, working on is to make, to have a more human approach about uh, the insurance product and to don't sell the product directly because it's, it's not an e-commerce. We are talking about um, uh, securing the, the financial future, securing the, the family also if something happens. So it's very emotional. Uh, so we are doing all this work around uh, how to find a, a more human way to present our product to our customers instead of putting straight straight in front of them and, and try to sell them. That doesn't, doesn't appeal to customers, but oh, okay. So there is one term insurance uh, product here. Well, why should I buy it? Does it answer my needs or how this will secure my, my future? Is something that is missing today, this more human uh, touch 